according to WHO, in 2022, 2.3 million women were diagnosed with breast cancer, with 670,000 deaths globally. We insist are more vulnerable because of our limited resources. We need to invest more into modern technology, medical equipment, and specialists for diagnosis and treatment, not just for cancer, but all NCDs. We need improved and accessible healthcare services with better patient care, timely service provision, so people can get well and live healthy, happy, and productive lives. Live experience country representation is an important mechanism in stigma reduction, which one of the greatest cultural and social barriers to care for person living with NCDs and mental health conditions, such as diabetes, cancer, depression, and anxiety. It also plays a major role preventing of these conditions crisis as we in small island development states face some of the greatest challenges our world has ever seen. The Small Island Developing States Lived Experience Alliance is a collective of lived experience experts and strategic partners from a variety of backgrounds including a wide variety of ages, locations, conditions and ethnicities whose mission will be to champion the growth of lived experience communities throughout the SIDS. As someone living with NCDs, including mental health illness, it is an absolute honor to be able to share my story with others, not only to reduce the stigma surrounding mental illness, but also to let others know that they're not alone, and we're in this together. I live with asthma, made worse by Sahara dust and increasing bushfires around where I live because of climate change. Climate change is the other side of the coin to NCDs. Climate change, extreme events, cause many more deaths in the months after than the official death toll. The good news is that climate action is good for NCDs. Plant-rich diets, biking and walking are good for your health, and good for the planet. Through meaningful engagement and inclusion of lived experience at all levels of the public health paradigm, countries can fill the remaining gaps in research, reporting, policy design, and implementation. Moreover, this integration of lived experience can ensure that our health policies and strategies, and indeed our sustainable future, are shaped by children, youth, and other vulnerable groups whose voices often go unheard and underrepresented. I learned when I started this work, that persons with lived experience were once called service users, the end point of a health system, not so much a part of the planning or the design of it, which is how it should be. The Steering Committee for the Voices of SIDS came together to do this video to keep lived experience on the agenda. What is our ask? We ask you to walk the talk of inclusion and equity. For you, our leaders and SIDS, to commit to building official channels for representation and inclusion by SIDS lived experience ambassadors within your public health and policy advisory systems. With SIDS being our world's most vulnerable, it is critical that our peoples have both inclusion and equity in our public health systems and that this access is protected and sustainable. Let us walk our talk for this.